All right, so excellent. So we have, we have movies actually making it to the database, for, to the server we want to store in the database. So to do that, we're going to do the same thing we did last week. We're going to create a little DB directory where we're going to have, do have all our, ob, all our database uh, work in there. And um, we're going to have a uh, data, um, data JavaScript in here. Uh, we're going to have a, what is it, module.exports, and then it's equal to some function. Some function that's going to run, and it's going to do what? It's going to set up, it's going to set up the mongoose, mongoose connection. I'm just going to copy it from here. So it's going to require mongoose. It's going to connect to a local host. Uh, the database, maybe we'll call it, what, what should we call it? We'll call it OMDB, um, uh, let's see, OMDB F18 uh, Section 2, okay? Uh, so it's going to connect to that, and that's it, right? That's all we really need. Uh, from our server, we're going to require that so that we can connect to a database, so we'll say, uh, require, we're going to go to, uh, down to DB, down to data, and we're going to run that function. So it's going to connect to a database. Yes? Once it connects to a database, uh, we'll, need a, we'll need a schema, right? We'll need a, we'll need a model, we'll need all those things, yes? Uh, let's see, do we, have, do we even have this database? I don't think we do. Uh, let's see, if we go, we have Mongo running here, right? We can say use that, right? And let's see, do we even have collections in here? I don't believe we do. Uh, show collections. We don't. We don't have collections. So let's create a model, a schema, and let's actually work on that. Let's, uh, let's go here and let's create a schema for that. So we'll say a file and this, well, actually, let's create a... Um, a, uh, uh, let's create a, a, um, a models, models. In models, we'll uh, create first a schema. So this will be movie schema server.js. And this will look like what? Let's see, this will look something like um, const mongoose. We're gonna require mongoose. Uh, we're going to do what else? We're gonna do the schema. So this will be const movie schema It'll be something like mongoose dot uh, schema, and we're going to store. Let's see, what do we store here? We're going to store the um, IMDb, IMDb ID. It'll be um, a string. Uh, we'll store the what else? We maybe the title. Uh, well, that's good enough. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's also do the poster, and this will be a string. Right? And we're going to store it in a collection called movies. Yes? And uh, that's what we're going to export. We say module, no, module, the exports equal movie schema. So that we can use it in a model. Yes? Excellent. Let's close that. Now let's create a DAO for this. So this will be movie.dao.server.js. And in here, we're going to say, we're going to grab mongoose again. Mongoose. Mongoose. And here, we're going to get a hold of the schema, which we just created two seconds ago. So this will be movie schema. We're going to require movie schema. There it is. We're going to create our model. This is the mongoose model. So this is going to be mongoose.model, a model. And it's going to be called movie model off of the schema we just created, the movie schema. And this is the object that provides the low level connectivity to talk to the collection. So we can create instances of these, of these movies. Excellent. Um, so. Uh, we're going to create, uh, we're going to, let's see, um, we'll, we'll need to create a movie, yes? All right, so we'll do that, let's see, we're going to do, um, um, we'll create a function called create movie, 
that takes our argument a movie object and is going to do a movie model, movie model dot saved, uh, sorry, create, create movie, and it's going to return the object that it created. Yes? Well, actually, it'll return a, 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 um, a, um, a promise. And for now, let's just do that for now, right? So we're going to, we're going to do a, a module, modules that module, module that exports uh, right now just an API for the create movie. Just for now. Just for now, we'll just do that. Okay. Um, all right, excellent. Um, now we need to do that. We need to do this when? When do we need to do that? We need to do this when we like a movie, right? If we like a movie, we need to make sure that the movie exists. Yes? Uh, so let's do that. Let's, um, uh, let's bring in that DAO that we just created. So we'll say const movie DAO. We're going to require, right? We're going to go down to uh, db.models.moviedao. There it is, right? And so here, we're going to send back uh, whatever the movie DAO dot create movie, and we're going to pass in request body, right? Because the movie is in the request body. Yes? Right. Let's see if that creates the object. And what's going to return? It's going to send back whatever. Actually, no. This this needs to change, right? Because this returns a, a uh, this returns a this returns a a promise, right? A promise. So we need to wait for that to come back, right? So there's our then. Our then says, okay, now the database is done, right? The the movie was inserted into a database. Here's the movie that actually was inserted, right? And then we can send it back. We can say response, send back the actual movie instance that was inserted. All right, let's, let's see if this works or blows up. Uh, let's see. Let's stop the server. Let's run it again, see if it blows up. Up. Oh. uh-oh. Um, What's it complaining about uh, after missing? I think I'm missing a parenthesis somewhere. Uh, actually, I think I, uh, yeah, that's right. I was missing that parenthesis. Let's try it again. Uh, all right, let's try it out. Let's see our, our database. Our database should be empty. There shouldn't be any movies, no collections. Okay, no collections. Let's, uh, let's like an avatar movie again. Let's go back and say, let's clear this out. And now I want to like this movie. Let's see. It went out to the server, came back. Notice that our movie now, object that comes back from the server, actually has an underscore ID. That gives me some confidence that looks like it was actually saved in the database, right? And Mongo gave it a unique identifier. Let's make sure let's go into a database. Let's show collections. And indeed, now we have a movies collection that was not there before. Uh, so we can do a db.movies.find.pretty. Uh, uh, and indeed, we have the movie that we just created earlier, uh, the one that we just sent, with the poster, the IMDb, the title. Right? No more than what we need. Right? Anything else that you want to add, the plot or director, anything that you want to add there, you could add it there. Yes? Uh, all right, excellent. So, so we know that we can like the movie and store in the database, but we'd like to be able to do, actually, likes shouldn't do that. Uh, likes should be able to say, uh, well, first check to see if there is a movie. If there isn't, then insert it. Uh, and uh, and, and, and if, it, if there is, don't insert it. Right? Instead, I want to um, create a relationship between a particular user in a particular movie, right? So to try to try that out, uh, let's uh, let's create a a, ta a collection that has a user, a dummy user, me, uh, with an ID. Presumably, we know this person has logged in. I'm going to use that ID of that person. Uh, I'm going to hard code it in, uh, and we're going to make a relationship between the two. Okay, All right? So let's do that. Let's uh, insert 
uh, a user, and then let's create the relationship between the two.